and do it one more time. The zeros of the function, the x-intercepts of the graph, and the roots of the equation y is equal to zero are the same numbers. Okay. So now we're going to move into graphing polynomials. If you have the graph of a polynomial, so we look at the bottom of the page. Hmm? I can't hear what you say. No, we can do this in like three minutes. Well, maybe a bit longer than that. Um, if I have the graph of the function, here's my polynomial function, x cubed minus 2x squared minus 5x plus 6. There is the graph of that function. Right now, we're only going to deal with a values of plus minus, or sorry, leading coefficients of plus minus 1. What are the zeros of this polynomial function? Plus minus 2 plus minus 3. And? Oh, no, 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 the zeros, like the x-intercepts. The zeros, if this is the graph of the function, what are the zeros? Negative 2, 1, and 3. There you go. Negative 2, 1, and 3. If you have the graph and I say, what are the zeros? I'm not saying what are the potential zeros. I'm saying, what are the zeros? And if you have a graph, you can read it right off the graph. Negative 2, 1, and 3. What are the factors that would give you these zeros? What, what factor, i.e., what brackets would give you minus 2? There you go. Okay. Those are the corresponding factors. If we know the leading coefficient is 1, which we know because there's the actual polynomial up there, I can then write this polynomial in factored form. It is just x plus 2, x minus 1, x minus 3. Those are the same thing. We just factored it without doing any of the long division stuff. If you have the graph, you can write it in factored form if you know the x-intercepts. Okay? Is that okay? All right? So if you have a graph, you can write the polynomial in factored form. Does everybody, I know this might sound stupid, have their phone with them? No. I know, it's okay. I'll get you one. Take out your phone, please. Oops. It's Desmos. Go to Desmos. Wow. Go to Desmos, people. Please. What's Desmos? Just Google Desmos. This is Desmos. Okay. No, no, just click on click on graphing calculator. Okay. On in our books on the next page, page four twenty eight. We are going to enter this into Desmos. Okay. Please. And I'm going to do it on the computer. You only need Desmos for this little bit that we're going to do today. You make a power? It's the. It's. Yeah. And you should get a graph that looks like that. And if you click on the x-intercepts, it'll tell you the actual numbers. Put a negative sign. A to the power of B or whatever it says there. X to the power of B or whatever. Did we get it? Yeah. 
Aren't you guys supposed to be the tech savvy generation? You did it wrong. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Check your, if it doesn't look like mine, check your function and make sure you got everything the same. Are we here yet? Are we done? Okay. Are we all right? Okay. We're back on this page. Well, we can, we don't have to get, what are the x-intercepts? Look at the graph. Negative two, one, and five. All you're doing is you're looking at the x-intercepts, where it crosses the x-axis. Boom, boom, boom. There they are. Okay. So, can we write this polynomial in factored form? All right. Let's do it. See you later, Julie. No, not all math. Just math 12. Is that it written in factored form? Is that it written in factored form? No. Why not? Because. Because. I got no and because. Because I said so. Yeah, you're just making something go wrong. <sighs> because there's a negative in front of the x cubed. So you have to put the negative there. All right? So the graph looks like this. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Is the what is the left arm of the graph doing? I'm not gonna say rising or falling. Just tell me, is it up or down? Yeah. Left arm. Up. Right arm of the graph is the degree of the polynomial is it is odd. It, three is correct, but it's odd. The leading coefficient of the polynomial is okay. Your job for the rest of this block and tonight is to finish question number one, E to J, and number two, A to F. What I want you to do for those questions, so E to J, A to F, I want you to, I'll just show you, where's E? Here's E. I want you to sketch the graph, okay, blah, or whatever. I want you to write it in factored form. That's all I want you to do. Yeah, using Desmos. Okay, I want you to write it in factored. That doesn't say anything. It says P of X equals blah. So. Okay, hang on one second, hang on. Sketch the graph, whatever you, enter it in Desmos, sketch what you see. Write it in factored form, i.e. use the x-intercepts to write it in factored form. Watch to make sure if you have a negative leading coefficient. All I want you to do is as you're doing it, hopefully notice some patterns. And then tomorrow, we will analyze those patterns, okay? Yes. Go. Nope, number one and two. Okay, so yeah. One E to J, two A to F. Look for patterns. E to J.